welcome to Women TV. Some beautiful initiatives become a very powerful identity of that particular city, just like Pula has become for a Pune city. Yes, Pune Ladies Group, that's Pula. Pula's proud founder, Sonia Agarwal Konjati, needs no introduction by now. She has really set an apt example of what a woman can do when she tirelessly stands for another woman. So guys, the power woman of our city, Pune, is right here besides me. And she is Sonia. As I said, she needs no introduction. And she has been really successful in building a community of 1,72,000 women. Just under one platform. Wow. It's a big wow. Thank you so much. And they are globally connected with each other. They have their meetups to be their social loneliness and so much more. Which is very impressive, honestly. And oh my god, I'm so super impressed with Pula. I have been always, seriously. So, Sonia, welcome to our show. And we would love to know how did this beautiful concept really begin for you? Um, so, Pula is actually all about from me to we. Hello! So you just asked about how and what Pula is. So Pula is today's uh, Pune's biggest community and of course it cannot be handled alone. And here we are, a um, few of the entire team um, and they all actually put in their Hi, time I'm and efforts to manage it. So amazed. Wow. <laughs> Big hello you guys. <laughs> so can we have the introductions please? Sure. So she's Sona. Hi. And that's Rekha, Hi. Ankita, they all are from the core team. Right. We have Amruta Hi. and uh, we have Sonam Mantri, Hi. Priyanka, Harpreet and that's Deba. Hi. So few manage approvals and few manage bazaar and few manage both. Now, <laughs> <laughs> and there are lots more. In fact, we have team members in the UK and US because Pula is... Um, it needs vigilance 24 by 7 and we really don't want, don't want to miss out on anything. So of course they could not be a part of it but how I wished uh, all could actually be here today. That's a very smart planning I must say. Thank you so much. <laughs> so yeah, once again welcome girls. Thank, Thank you. you. We come back to you Sonia. How did this concept really begin? We are so excited to know that. Um, Shweta, I think it's always the need of the woman which makes her create something. And when I was in a maternity break, I was at home, I was a part of a lot of Facebook groups. So that's how I realized the power of Facebook, which can connect a lot of women yes. or actually in general. Um, though I did realize the importance or I found out the loopholes in different groups, that's what made me build Pula with different ideas okay. as what concepts a group needs to have to pull it off beautifully, to uh, understand the need of women, to actually give it to her on time and that's how Pula all started. Wow, very nice. Anybody in particular inspired you for this? Honestly, uh, I still believe that I have not done something great. Facebook groups is something very common. Uh, in fact, there are lakhs and lakhs of groups or communities what we call. However, um, the inspiration has always been the need of the woman is what I feel is what we want today even we are at home and you know we have kids or we have work or we have some issues or you know there, there is some entrepreneur who needs a platform which can help her grow so these are the different concepts which he keep coming in our mind and as how we can make it better and better to help the woman the key motive is of course over here to unite all the women of Pune today get a closer world for them a second family where they can trust blindly so I think yeah and you're really beautifully doing that <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> and you are soon going to have your third anniversary congratulations oh, for thank that you. thank, thank you. you you have really come a very uh, long way very successfully I must say so what's your long term vision ahead uh, vision honestly I have there's no some particular vision we grow or we keep changing our vision as per you know what can be better However, yes, I do desire that every woman today um, in Pune is self-independent, is financially independent. If she has a job, good, but if she does not, she can start a business from home. Right. She can take care of her family and she has a family, a second family where she can blindly look towards and um, if any issues in life can be resolved. 
Nice, nice. And coming to your beautiful team, we'd love to know how does it feel to be a part of such an empowering platform? Wow! <laughs> That's exactly everybody's feeling. That's the first feeling we have. It's wow. And yes, now we feel privileged to be a part of this group because I'm sure everybody of us just came in as another community on Facebook. But now, uh, our day starts with Pula and the day continues with Pula. So it's Pula forever. Because everything and anything you need, you want, you wish, you get it here. And we are so happy being here, helping others, doing our stuff. So it's Pula for us. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Like for me, when I joined Pula, I was a complete outsider. I got married and I came to Pula. But now being a part of Pula, Pula, I feel so privileged that I have someone to share my joys, emotions, sorrows with. Pula holds the same place that my husband and my son does for me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm the newest member in this family. It's not been even a year that I joined Pula, but now Pula is like part of me. It runs in my blood like it runs in me like a blood only. Okay. I mean, my day starts with that, ends with that. I'm. I mean, uh, I can share anything with anyone, and this is like just an awesome feeling for me. Beautiful. <laughs> Coming to you, beautiful lady. What makes Pula stand out? Uh, trust. Ethics, integrity. Trust is the base of any relationship today, be it family, friends, even a business partnership. So we, we being on a virtual platform, this uh, responsibility increases double fold. So just because the trust have, we all have, it binds us together and even the Pula family. Right. There have been instances where we have encountered lost and found pets, documents and even people yeah. where with yeah. the help of the Pula family, we have handed it <coughs> over the responsible person. God's work. Indeed. Exactly. So, uh, like Sonam was mentioning, we are able to help anybody under the roof. And there have been so many instances where people want to share their most inner feeling, you know, where you cannot share with a friend because you might not trust him. Or, you know, be your baby or mother or even husband to that, yes, you know. Happens. So, we... Uh, there's a full platform for them where you know they put pour out their heart and you know there are so many hands to handle so we really feel proud that you know we as a team and full group as Pula we help you know one single lady everybody is there on mark to help a single person <laughs> that happens and all the viewers watching us right now you know they have this one common question on their mind all the time Kelsey handle the <laughs> Hands off to you girls, how do you really you know, handle such a massive group? What are the challenges you girls face? I think uh, there's nothing without challenge. Challenges uh, give us that much fun to you know, work ahead and I think as a group when there is a challenge everybody is on their feet you know, trying to find out. Like, um, that's a challenge, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll Small ones are okay, yeah. The bigger ones were like with FB, FB has certain limitations. So, uh, but we did not give up. We uh, changed a lot of things as per uh, how we could work with FB. As we're going to increase, the challenges are going to increase. But as a team, we are always geared up for any kind of challenges for us. Wow. Yes. Big wow. <laughs> <laughs> Also to add in, uh, we have teams, approvals and bazaar. So in approvals, every day uh, we get a lot of uh, requests. Uh, the challenge initially was to scan each and every profile. But right now, I think we are all such a pro that we look at it and we know it's yeah, a fake it's profile. Yeah, yeah. And Facebook is eventually, yeah, every day so it's helping us uh, to improve the community, improve the group. And uh, we actually are enjoying our uh, job of scanning <laughs> <laughs> something 
that we have our women entrepreneurs. We have specific days for our bazaar uh, post and we have rules for it. So we help women follow them, we guide them. I think you know what even Amrita wants to say is about being fair to everyone and not being biased. So that's why we have these set of guidelines where we want everybody to you know have that limited portion on Pula. And uh, it it's not always easy. One challenge would definitely I would like to add in that as a team we want to support women we want to help them as what is right or wrong and how you can get more visibility but at times you know at the opposite end uh, when you type something and when you say the emotions are not seen in the sentence so a um, lot of women take it in a in another way a negative way they think that you know we are just trying to be bossy or something but that's not the uh, what we do it's basically all about helping them you know and giving them solutions and obviously so, when you're dealing with so many people you can't be you know pally pally yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I must say like the bazaar team we all are linked and synced with each other we definitely uh, if there's something that comes up and uh, we discuss in our team we discuss as what needs to be done and uh, mutually then the decision is taken so um, that's the beauty of my entire team. They are day and night available. Of course, everybody has their family time, but when there's somebody unwell, one of them, the other one covers up for her. So uh, uh, hats off, like yeah. our team actually deserves this. The ones who are not present today or the ones who are in different countries. Thank you so much for always giving your time to Pula. It means a lot. Absolutely. <laughs> and coming towards the end, Sonia. You inspire, immensely inspire so many women across the globe, I must say. So what's the inspiring message you would like to give across to the viewers? Um, there are few things that I always, you know, want to spread. One, for Pula, of course, we do not compete. Competition is not what we want. We uh, don't stand against women, but we stand for the women. So, you know, even our group is like uh, by the woman, for the woman, of the woman. And if you see, it's all finally, you know, females to so the ladies that are supporting another woman. The um, uh, taboo about ek aurat dusre aurat ko todi hai, it's all actually gone. Now, nowadays, we're really progressing, and you can actually, it's a live example that Pula has set. There are a lot of people who've taken the vision or uh, the idea from Pula and we are really happy because they are also supporting another set of women yeah. so fantastic and just you know it's about being positive in life not being a part of um, uh, gossip spread negativity there's something that we can handle and we can stop it so I would really wish and want to spread this message Wow, so that was Team Pula and founder Sonia and a beautiful journey with this really unique concept. Thanks to her, she has set an example for whole city and the globe, of course, that what a woman can do when she stands for another woman. Thank you so much. Stay tuned with Woman TV for more powerful stories. Thank you.